TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what I would like to do is talk about the different compare instructions that are available to you in the Siemens TIA Portal V114. I'm going to be just demonstrating this on the TII Technical Education Systems uh, Siemens PLC and HMI Trainer. So, what I have done here is created a very basic circuit with a counter. And so I have a push button controlling a counter, and then I have an output down here with no input yet. So, to use the compare instructions, what we're going to do is we're going to expand out our toolbox, and we're going to make sure that instructions are activated. Then we're going to go down to the comparator operations. Expand this out, and then we have a number of different comparing functions from um, equal to, uh, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, a number of them, including also the in range and out of range functions. So to demonstrate how this works is I'm going to grab the equal to comparator and drop it down in front of this line here. So now what I have, an, in, an input that will allow us to control this output based upon the accumulated value. Most counters will just operate, they will change states when the accumulated reaches the preset value. When you add in a compare instruction, you have the ability to open up a, great, a greater range of possibilities. So what we want to do here is we want to come and select what we're actually going to compare. So in this question mark above, what we'll do is we're going to add the counter ACC. So whatever value that is at, um, that will be compared to the value underneath. So in this one, what we'll do is we will just place 5 here. Okay, we don't need to tag it to a word. We can just put that value in there. Now, when the accumulators, uh, when the counters accumulated has equal, is equal to 5, this light will turn on. If it's greater than or less than 5, that output will be on. Now, the last thing we need to do is to give this an input so it can be reset. So we will take this and we'll make this the left green push button. Okay, so now we're ready to download this and see how this counter accumulated operates. So let's make a little bit of room here and turn our monitor function on. Um, now what I want to do is I want to reset the counter back to make sure it's at zero. And I'm going to, op I'm going to actuate this counter five times. One, two, three, four. My accumulator is at four. And I hit it one more time. All right. Now notice that my green light is on because my accumulated value on my counter equals the preset value that I have on the compare instruction. Okay? Notice this has nothing to do with the Q, the done of the counter. This is a totally separate control besides that. I even put my preset at a very high value of 32,767 um, just to demonstrate that this does not have anything to do with the accumulated reaching the preset. This is the accumulated reaching the compare instruction here. And if I actuate it one more time, that'll shut it off. Okay, because now my accumulated is higher than the value that I associated with the uh, compare instruction. Okay, so this is how a the basic compare instruction operates. But if I were to go offline, okay, and let's say I wanted to change this instruction here. I can do this by clicking this button here. And let's say I want to do um, the greater than and equal to. All right? So all I did was just change this instruction. I did that by clicking here. And right up in the right-hand corner, you can see you can change the instruction. Or I could have come back to the instructions here and grabbed the greater than or equal to. Okay? So we'll hide this. We'll go ahead and download this right to the PLC. So now I have turned the monitor function on and I can see that 
my green light is already on because I didn't reset the counter. So I'll reset the counter. That'll turn this light off because my accumulated is less than five. So I'll operate this five times. My accumulator's at four. And then I hit it one more time, the light comes on. Now this time, it'll stay on when my accumulated is above five. Okay, so I can reset it, turn the light off, activate this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many you need, okay, and the light will stay on no matter how high I get, okay, and that is how, there's another example of a compare instruction, and after that, they're all pretty much the same when it comes to the compare instructions, so let me take this offline, and I'll add the instructions, I'll expand the instructions, and you can see here that we also have a couple that are in range and out of range, okay? And so what that allows you to do is set up a range that you can actually operate in. Let me show you how this works. I'll delete this, I will grab the in range function and drop it here, and then what I'll do is for my value, I will actually add this to the account or accumulated, and then I will set a range. So between four and eight. Between four and eight, my output will be on, and if it's outside of that range, it'll be off. So let me go ahead and download this, and we and I'll show you how it operates. So now I have my counter, the same counter that I had before, it's set to zero, and I have my in-range function here. So I'm going to operate it, this push button three times, and notice the output doesn't come off. So if I operate it one more time, the green light comes on. And so because my accumulated for my counter is four, between four and eight, it will stay on. All right, so now I'm at seven, I go to eight, my light stays on. If I activate it one more time, the light shuts off. And this is how the in-range instruction works as it's associated with a counter. You can do the same things with timers and uh, any other value that you are reading. And so this is just a demonstration of how to use with counters. It's just as easy with timers, which is also a very useful instruction to use with the different compare instructions out there. This was a unit in the TII, Technical Education Systems, Siemens, PLC, and HMI Trainer. Thank you for watching.